Today we'll try to make some improvements in our player controller. The player movement already has quite good controls but we can do better. Your game will look like this at the end of the video. We're using raycasts to detect platforms or check if we're grounded rather than using a built-in function called is on floor. Not a big difference from before but this will make it so that the player will have more clear interaction with ramped objects. I will show you something at the end of the video. Now it's time to work. Open your Godot game engine and continue what you're doing from the last tutorial. You can create a character from scratch as you did before, but here I'm just duplicating the player scene. You can do so if you want, just remember to save both. We're refactoring the game so just delete all of the script here. Just code what you see here in your script tab and you're good to go. Also try not to get confused here. Time to add some raycasts. Just follow what I do here. I forgot to change girl underscore char underscore anim to graphics here here in some line of codes.
we'll do side-by-side -side comparisons for you to observe. Again, I forgot that these two player scenes has to have different scripts. One from before and one from after. I'm just showing you a comparison so you don't have to do the same.